is Oliver Gordon and today's guest is Angie Newstub and we would like to ask you 10 questions. Question one, how many years have you played professional rugby and where did you start? Right, I have played professional rugby for, for four years now um, and I started uh, with the New Zealand Sevens team. That, that's real cool. I, I really like the team too. Good team. Proud to be in New Zealand. <laughs> so question two, what are your career highlights? My career highlights would probably have to be, uh, first of all, making Sevens team. Um, and then it'd have to be Commonwealth Games gold and uh, also Sevens World Cup gold. And uh, also winning the... Um, World Series this year was, was up there as well. Question three. How many medals do you have and for, and what for? <laughs> oh, I'm, I'm pretty lucky to be able to have a few medals. Um, a few golds from uh, just different tournaments and stuff like that. And um, uh, got a couple of silvers, a couple of bronzes. Um, got a few uh, tournament uh, MVP ones and a few finals MVP ones. So, ah uh, man, I, I'm not too sure. I don't know the exact number, but I'm lucky enough to have a few. Anyways, great feeling to have those medals and mate, to be for your country as well. Extremely lucky. Question four: Do you do you have any training tips for young athletes to go looking to go pro? Uh, my number one tip would be. Um, just try to do as much as you can. Um, when you feel like you've done enough, try to do a little bit more. And yeah, it's probably my main one. Ciao, G. Stop, G. Question five. What teams did you currently play for? At the moment, I'm playing for Canterbury. Wow, that's cool. Do you think your team's pretty good or yeah. do you think you'll win um, some medals this year or games this year? Hopefully, that's the plan. Oh, yeah. Question uh, six. What's your coach like? Our coach, he's, he's pretty passionate. He's passionate about what he does and stuff, and mm-hmm. and he loves the team, and, and he wants the team to do as best they can, which is all uh, you want from your coach, isn't it? Yeah, Charlie, because I, cause I, I, um, I, I, I do um, oh, Beach Olympics uh, basketball. I do basketball oh, wow. and swimming and uh, golf and stuff, yeah, and, and, and um, bowling, yeah. Well, that's awesome. Yeah, the heat sports, man. Question seven. How, how has COVID-19 affected the game for you? Affected the game? Uh, so so our whole season got cancelled after it. Oh. So we still, had, we still had four tournaments and they cancelled all of them. Yeah, we, we just had to stay here in New Zealand uh, for the last part of the season, which was a shame, but um, we're lucky here in New Zealand we still get to play footy, so... Um, yeah, we're, we're lucky here. We can still play. So, so we're 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 about to still live in uh, in Wellington. We're about. Um, I'm in Christchurch at the moment now. Oh, do you live yeah, in I used, to, I used to live in the Carpenter Coast. Oh, yeah. Do you live in Christchurch? Yeah, at the moment I am. My uh, questions for you today is: Who was your inspiration growing up? My inspiration growing up was Christian Carlin, uh, Carlos Spencer, and Dan Coles. Yes. Um, my three. Yes. So, uh, well, we know uh, Christian Carlin is the Pai Kakariki Express, yes, and also Carlos Spencer, who was part of the uh, All Blacks and the Auckland Blues. Uh, if you didn't get into rugby, what sport would you have got into? Good question. I'll, I'll probably get, try to get into basketball, I reckon. Well, what team would you I play? I play a fair bit. Yeah, but what teams would you have to play if you were playing basketball in New Zealand? Oh, I try to play for the Wellington Saints, and then from there I'd try to play for the Tall Blacks. After what, that, what about the Breakers as well? Oh, yeah, could try to play for the Breakers. Yep, exactly. What does the future like, the Stubby? Um, at the moment, I'm, yeah, at the moment I'm, I'm playing for Canterbury and um, we've, we've got our season that goes on till December. Oh. And uh, so, so hopefully that goes pretty good. And then 
uh, once December comes around, I'll, I'll head back up north to the Sevens team in Mount Monganui and and we'll play some uh, back playing some Sevens at the end of the year. And then uh, hopefully next year we'll be off to the Olympics and um, hopefully winning some gold. Andrew, no stuff on behalf of Maringa Action Group. We thank you for your much for your time and uh, best of luck. Awesome. Cheers. Heaps. Good questions, guys. Yeah, thank you. Thanks, very much. Much. Yeah, much appreciate it.